Meanwhile, Simpson and Fulcher found themselves on the opposite sides of another vote yesterday. The House voted overwhelmingly to remove Confederate statues and controversial figures from the U.S. Capitol building. Those would be the statues of Vice President John Calhoun, North Carolina Governor Charles Aycock, and New York Representative John Clark. It also included the bust of Chief Justice Roger Taney, who was the author of the 1857 Dred Scott decision. The one that said black people could never be U.S. citizens. Yeah, so it's that kind of stuff. You can see the reasoning behind this bill. Congressman Simpson supported it, along with 71 other House Republicans. Congressman Fulcher joined the other 112 that did not. His reasoning? The current rule allowing states to choose the statues they want to represent them should remain. Virginians or Georgians shouldn't make that decision for Idahoans or vice versa. And I believe we are better served to learn from our history rather than imposing censorship. But isn't it still possible to learn from our history without celebrating or commemorating those that, upon further review, don't really garner such glory? Like, for example, those that tried to tear this country apart. The bill would also require states to take back and replace the statues of anyone who fought for the Confederacy during the Civil War. It would still have to clear the Senate, where it appears to be getting some sort of pushback right now. By the way, Idaho's contributions to the Capitol's National Statuary Hall, they seem to be in the clear, for now. They include George Shoup, who is in the hall, and William Bora, who is in the Capitol Visitor Center. Although Bora is also not without his own controversy in explaining why he opposed women's right to vote with the 19th Amendment. But that's a story for another day.